you know for real PCOS should be called diabetes of the ovaries because it isn't just related to insulin resistance it is insulin resistance look around 70% of women are affected by PCOS which is insulin resistant PCOS and i need you to understand this right when your levels of insulin are too high it's going to make the pituitary gland secrete LH what is LH it's that one hormone luteinizing hormone which is supposed to help you with ovulation but when it's too high because this insulin has to is gone too high this is going to make sure that you don't ovulate and things go completely sideways what happens is that the eggs that are supposed to mature right they don't mature and they stay in your ovaries and this gives it that very classic polycystic appearance on the ultrasound but that's not all when there's excess lh what happens is that production of androgens goes up as well now what are those testosterone dht things like that which means you'll have more acne facial hair nail pattern hair loss even in regular cycles now as you can see that this entire vicious cycle starts from high insulin now the problem is that when you get diagnosed with pcos what are the conventional options you are basically told to have metformin all right if you want to get pregnant or you're given birth control pills if you don't want to get pregnant but here's what no one tells you metformin has over 150 million prescriptions written annually and one of the most prescribed drug worldwide and this comes with a box warning that tiny print that no one reads says that you'll be at a risk of more than 20 side effects it also tells you how you'll be deficient in nutrients like b12 folic acid coq10 and your body will struggle to gain muscle and even after all these side effects experts say that the effectiveness and this is so true the effectiveness plateaus for up to 40% of users within 3 to 5 years which means you need to increase your dosage as you continue taking these medications right i'm yet to meet a single woman who has been told that they don't need metformin as the first line of action because there's so much other stuff you actually can do now at the one program we've helped multiple women with pcos and here's how we do it with food so we will start with things like fat first Eating enough protein and fat is really underrated. We do stuff like magnesium and B6 rich foods as well. Sweet potato, yam, all of these can really help with your progesterone levels because you require 500 times more progesterone than estrogen for a pain-free healthy menstrual cycle. You also need lifestyle practices like cycle syncing, balancing your blood sugars out. These two things go a long way. Cycle syncing is when you sync your entire life to your menstrual phases. It's so beautiful because the way you eat, the way you exercise, your social events, even certain important events can be synced to different phases of your menstrual cycle. And this entire process helps you bring your hormones back in balance with the right supplements like omega-3, berberine, even super berberine, which is three times more effective than berberine, and stuff like omega-3, right? You will essentially have the same effect as drugs. but minus all the side effects and these will help in increasing insulin sensitivity and improve the egg quality also support ovulation